The weeks have gone by, and why have I missed the Tag Weekly? Well, simply put, guys, I missed the Tag Weekly because of one big reason. You see two lights. Well, you don't technically see the lights, but you see the light emanating down on me. I have a green screen. That should be evident. Ooh, look at the wavy lines. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> I have had a horrible migraine associated with eye strain. These two lights made them worse, and the doctor told me, Okay, keep your visual, uh, you know, recording sessions. Don't use lights. I was pretty much told to limit that. So I did. No lights, man, no face cam. And even during the day, the green screen wasn't well lit enough because my only window was kind of over there behind the green screen. And even the sunlight coming into the room and the light in the room was not enough to keep the green screen well lit without it having fizzling. Ooh. You, you get it, artifacting. And so this actually caused an issue. So I decided I'm going to record a bunch of videos, no face cam, which has been kind of the way it's been. And now that I'm feeling better, I'm slowly introducing uh, the lights. Obviously, here with the Tag Weekly, I wanted to keep it with the lights and with a face cam because it's me talking to you guys. And so that is why the Tag Weekly has been uh, gone a little while. So uh, welcome back, everyone, to Trilight Azure Gaming. This is Tag Weekly week number three probably been a few more weeks since week two but still week three now guys i promise you plenty of content plenty of things to discuss about we're going to talk about the old tag vlog goals that we're still working on the to-do list and every single series on this channel and their status pretty much but guys first off if you've seen the cool little road to 500 badge if you haven't already please consider subscribing if you enjoy this video or other content and uh, let me know what you think about the series, the channel, everything. All right, guys, let's talk about the to-do list. So the reason I'm going over this first and not the tag vlog goals, is because the tag vlog goals have something big and important to do. To-do list, finish the Twitch channel visuals. They're mostly finished. I actually made a slight error on a lot of them. And um, it's because when I was working on them, my Twitch channel was still uh, a different name than the Twilight Azure Gaming one. And I accidentally put that name on all the stuff. I was like, oh no, I have to go and fix this. So the Twitch channel visuals, I need to finish them, is more like correct them. But, you know. Oh, you guys can't see. I have the image up. I did little air quotes. Um, have the first Twitch stream. This is going to just be like a stealth launch. This is just going to be something that I just stream occasionally on there to get it going again. Because obviously I'll need the lights on and I slowly need to reincorporate that. Upload, update, old Discord roles. I guess I could call this upload old Discord roles too because technically until we have the Twitch stream and we have the different things going and all the things I have for Discord roles up and active, some of them won't be seen. I promise you more Discord stuff is coming. If you're interested in joining my Discord, want to play games with me, chat, ask me questions, Discord's in the link description below. Check it out, guys. And then test all series of 10 episodes, judge if the series will continue or potentially ended. We'll be talking about that in just a minute because tag vlog goals. Now, these are the former tag vlog goals because we did not know. Now, tag weekly used to be the tag vlog and now it's been changed up. Anyways, tag vlog goals, lose weight. I actually have lost a little bit of weight. We'll have a whole tag weekly episode about this. But for now, I lost weight and I'm going to have a plan to lose weight. And we'll discuss that one on one in a little bit. Find a job. I am looking very hard for a job and I am someone who will kind of stay in my realm. I'm not going to go get a job at, you know, a place I'm not going to, I know I can't really work or enjoy. I'm a tech guy. I'm going to work in the tech industry and I'd rather go hungry than work at a place I don't want to work at. That's just because I'm a stubborn asshole. Get a video sponsor. I would love to do this, but um, we are a smaller channel. And video sponsorships are not that easy, but this is a goal. This was a long-term goal in the tag blog goals. And this was something that at the end of the day, I hope one day I can introduce a video sponsor, someone who's sponsoring an entire video, and it would be insane. Uh, Smog UKA, go to a Yu-Gi-Oh! Digimon event. I will have an update on this, guys. And uh, I personally cannot wait to talk about it. Urza. This is on Patreon. If you're interested in Patreon, link in the description below. Collab with a YouTuber, 5k plus subs on both channels. Not impossible. Very unlikely with our current size. 
But talking about our size, guys, I'm so proud of this. We were at like 290-something last time I did one of these. We're at 339 subs out of our 500 subs. We're on the road to 500, guys. It just means the world to me. I want to thank everybody who's subscribed, everyone who's watched the video, everyone who's commented, everyone who's dropped a like. Honestly, this means so much to me to see such a big jump, especially since the last Tag Weekly, the fact we've gained over 40 subs in that time is amazing. And I promise you, I know a lot of this had to do with shorts content. Short content is coming back. Um, I have made a lot of decisions about this channel, and it's one of those things, guys, where we are going to have a discussion about it. Speaking of discussion, guys, you obviously see my pretty face again. Hideous face. Gorgeous face? It's up to interpretation. Let's talk about every single series on this channel, guys, and their current status. Going with the Yu-Gi-Oh! series first, guys. Yu-Gi-Oh! Serial Only Challenge Edition, all the live card game based series are still ongoing pretty much most for the most part they just rely on money which looking for a job when i have the money i will get things going when a product comes in or i have enough product episodes will be filmed that's still going moving past the yugioh sealed only challenge edition is the yugioh sealed only deck building challenge or dbc season two that has ended i thought it was stupid to just delay the inevitable looking for one card and just call it i gave it one last shot with box opened up the box didn't get it and if you guys want to check it out you know we wrapped it up but it felt it felt very unceremonious to end it that way it felt wrong but i didn't want to just sit around and have it be worthless to end that way especially when the deck list would have had changes due to the ban list and um it just it, it felt like we looked so long for Guru of Wings Resin Life. It just wasn't worth continuing. And I honestly will stand by the fact I don't think it was worth continuing at that point. So that is done. Now, going to what the sets. I do plan to continue what the sets. Finding people is tough. Um, I debated back and forth. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give us some time. I'm going to try to find people. If what the sets really just can't get a, a couple of people rotating in and out, I really can't get it um, established with people interested in joining with it. I think I will end what the sets after a while, but I want to give it some time. And I think it's a great concept, to be honest. I just hope we can find somebody. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pack a Day is our short series where we open a pack a day. Obviously, financials prevent me from buying a lot of product and just opening it willy-nilly. So pack a day will return, but we might be looking at really cheap sets, really cheap boxes, and that have a lot of packs. So some some par stuff, but maybe we'll hit something big. We've hit quite a few big ones recently, and uh, yeah, it's it was amazing, guys. If you haven't seen the pack of days, go check out my shorts. Uh, the next one is um, Collector's Journey. It is actually going to go under a name change. And I don't think I've said it before on the channel, so I'm going to keep it secret. But um, it is going to have slight rule changes along with the name change, new visuals and stuff. So um, to be honest, I uh, I hope you enjoy that when it does come back. But it will be under a brand new name, guys. Uh, next up, we have a few more series to talk about. One, Mystery Masochist. Released the first episode. I'm trying to get the second episode together. Waiting for product to arrive. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. It was That episode was sitting, sitting, sitting. And I just thought I wanted to get it out. It was filmed a little bit before. There's a couple of things I would do differently now. The second episode is going to still follow the same rules. But we're going to expand it a little bit. And you're going to see more to that. Let's talk about Virtually Pro. Hasn't had a webcam yet. I know I'm going to insert the webcam into it eventually. But for now, I kind of enjoy the flow of it. And I do know that I have constructed this to be virtually tough to do at some point. But, you know, I kind of like, I like torturing myself between Mystery Masochism and Virtually Pro. A lot of tough stuff is coming up. I will have a Master Duel series maybe returning, guys. I've been debating about this and... There's some other Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff I want to work on, but to be honest, once I get a job, there's going to be a lot of stuff coming at you and a lot of new changes. 
But until then, I'll be making the changes I can make. But for the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, guys, we have a lot going on. Let's talk about the other series on the channel that don't have to do with video games first. So the Digimon um, card game series, the uh, Sealed Only Side Deck Evolution. It's, I love the Digimon card game, to be honest, and I'm not going to stop it. I don't care if it doesn't get views. I don't care if people aren't watching it. I want to make changes to it to try to draw people in, and there's changes done. There's a new logo done. Episodes being filmed. I was debating about canceling it, but no, I'm going to push through. I'm going to do it, guys. Keep an eye out for the name change. Obviously, Tag Weekly is still going. You see it right here. Okay. Uh, the card shop journey will continue, but again, this relies so heavily on a job and having money to invest into a card shop that <clears throat> I am going to kind of put that on hiatus and it's probably going to be the last of any of the physical based card game stuff to come back. So card shop journey is still going. I promise you it will be back and we are still selling a bunch of stuff on eBay and stuff like that for those cards and on, uh, you know, TCG player and stuff. But I next want to talk about the Let's Plays, the video games on this channel. Starting off with Hypercharged Unbox. To be honest, I've decided I enjoyed playing it with Crossflux, Broken Ideas, and replay it on our own time. But I've kind of decided I'm not going to put any more recordings of it. Um, they release a content update and not to be insulting to them. I didn't see much that wasn't worth playing maybe more than one session. And it's like, okay, cool, we got everything. <clears throat> done i know they're a small dev team not to be mean to them but there's so much potential in that game and i like the concept of it i just wish there was more and it's not something i can make content on it's not something that i think is all that great and to be fair um i'd rather play other games i enjoy moving to starship troopers extermination there's been multiple updates uh, I'm going to be releasing an episode of me playing it by myself, me playing with uh, cross, uh, cross Flux and Broken Ideas. Starship Troopers Extermination will be back. Uh, Phasmophobia is one we did for a Halloween thing. I hope I can get some more people back to play it. If you guys play Starship Troopers or uh, Phasmo, let me know. I would love to play with people and I would love to play it more, so that's staying. Uh, the Madden 24 franchise has um, ended. I... I love football. I love both footballs. And to be honest, the reason I initially started YouTubing was because of a FIFA player career mode and a manager career mode. And Madden, I've enjoyed watching other people do theirs. I wanted to take a shot at it. Didn't seem to get the views. It didn't seem to get the interaction. And uh, while I love it, it is being canceled to make room for other things. Next up are the two EAFC 24 player career mode and the EAFC 24 manager career mode. The manager career mode should be dropping, I believe, the day, two days after this comes out. Because after this will be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, virtually Pro. And then that should see the first episode of the manager career mode released. Both uh, FIFA slash EAFC 24 career modes are not going anywhere. Um, I've decided... I, uh, one of the biggest reasons, uh, watching Welsh Dragon do career mode stuff was one of those reasons that I really wanted to be a YouTuber. There's a lot of other past things that made me want to be a YouTuber or there's earlier videos, but seeing FIFA stuff made me think, man, I wish I could do that. That looks so fun. And he had higher quality stuff even back then than what I'm doing now. And I know I can kick it to another level and I've been thinking about it a lot. So right now the manager career mode is going to be a little basic in essence, but after the initial 10 run episode run of the manager career mode, I have decided both shall stay. I'm not even going to do a pull on them. I just want them to stay guys. And so for right now, those really are the only games guys. Let me know if there's any games you would like to me to try to play or to stream. And um, I will be dual streaming eventually here on YouTube and on Twitch. And as I get a job or as we continue to grow or as I get more money in, I might try to buy a good multi-stream thing to multi-stream to multiple places, including Kick, bring that into rotation. Um, but yeah, guys, 
Thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a hot minute since you've seen my face. I feel horribly rusty in front of these lights with the camera on me. I've been so used to recording without any of that stuff that it feels like a world's difference. I want to thank you guys so much for subscribing, watching, liking. It means everything to me, and especially during the time where I've been able to record with this stuff and feeling kind of down in the dumps about other things job-wise, um, health-wise, um, Christmas being, you know, holiday season being rough. Um, there was a lot of things that kind of hurt, but seeing the subscriber count, seeing you guys comment, seeing the watch time, uh, knowing that I hit um, some milestones there, going over 300 subs and stuff, really did help. And I really want to thank everyone who's ever watched the video, ever liked, ever commented. And again, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, tag out. A special thank you to all my Patreon supporters, Urza. And if you're interested in supporting the channel, wanting to see content early, or just to make me re-record this because I'd have to add another name to the list, check out Patreon in link description below.